Our products can vary in model style. While the model used in this video may not look exactly like your machine, the procedure demonstrated here is very similar. Always unplug the machine from the outlet before working around any moving or electrical components. If you need to use power while diagnosing an issue, please use caution. An unlit LED indicates that the controller board is not receiving power. Please check that the machine is plugged into a power outlet and that the reset switch is in the on position. If the machine should be getting power but isn't, try turning it off and then back on. You may also try plugging another device into the outlet to make certain that the outlet has power. A solid lit LED indicates that the controller board has power. If the belt has been started but it does not move, please check to make sure that the upright wire harness is connected and not damaged. A steady blink indicates that the controller board is receiving a speed signal from the console. If your walking belt is not moving, check the wiring from the controller board to the drive motor. If the blink pattern is one blink followed by a pause before another blink, then the controller board has gone into foldback mode. The motor may be seized, the walking belt may be worn, or the walking belt may need more lubrication. To check for a seized motor, turn the walking belt by hand. If you are unable to turn it, your drive motor has most likely seized. If the blink pattern is two blinks followed by a pause and another set of two blinks, then a wire has become disconnected from the controller board. Make sure that all the wiring to the control board is connected securely. If the blink pattern is three blinks followed by a pause and another set of three blinks, then the drive motor current has exceeded 34 amps. Turn the treadmill off and back on. If the problem persists, you will need to replace the controller board. If the blink pattern is four blinks followed by a pause and another set of four blinks, then the controller has detected a bad switch. Turn the machine off and back on. If the problem persists, the controller board will need to be replaced. If the blink pattern is five blinks, followed by a pause and another set of five blinks, then the controller cannot resolve the desired speed. Turn the treadmill off and then on. If the problem persists, the controller will need to be replaced. If the blink pattern is the Morse code SOS, then the controller board needs to be replaced.